Hey guys, today I'm going to be trying this. The Star Wars Blue Milk made by True Moo. And for those of you who don't know, this is the uh, Star Wars Blue Milk that Luke drinks in Episode 4, New Hope. On the label here, it says, Inspired by Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Blue Milk. And my friends over at Lightsaber Culture uh, Prion Johnny, he was talking about how different that actually tastes from one another because he's had the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge Blue Milk. I'll leave a link in the description box below of the short or the video that he made on lightsaber culture. If you guys want to check that out, he's got some different insight on this product, but I've never had this before. I've never had any sort of like Star Wars Blue Milk, whether it's from Galaxy's Edge or uh, I realized I didn't have an actual see-through glass, so I'm just going to be drinking it out of this jar. Okay, my first uh, reaction to this would be, like my first thought was, it's not as strong as I was like anticipating, which is good. It's like a very mild, like vanilla kind of sweet taste to the milk. I would definitely get this again. And speaking on that, on Trumu's website, uh, it doesn't say much. It just gives a description of it saying, introducing the galaxy's new blue milk Star Wars, Trumu blue milk. This delicious vanilla flavored 1% low fat is sure delight to your taste buds. Available for a limited time only. How limited? I'm not sure how limited this is going to be, but I did get this at Walmart for like $2 and 70 some cents, I believe. And it's a half gallon. And I read that you can get it at like Target, Hy-Vee and stuff. So just keep your eyes out if you want to try this for yourselves. And I recommend it if you're a Star Wars fan. I mean, it's, it's just kind of cool to have this kind of product and to try Star Wars Blue Milk for the first time. I also found some lore about this on Wikipedia. Uh, I'll leave the link to this article in the description box below also. But it says Blue Milk, also known as Bantha Milk, for those who didn't know, was a rich blue colored milk produced by the female Banthas. Uh, sentients drank it and also used it in Bantha butter. I did not know that. Blue Bantha buttermilk biscuits, blue milk cheese. I'd like to try that actually. Uh, blue milk custard and ice cream. I'd really like to try the ice cream. Ice cream is like my favorite thing. And yogurt. It was notably, notably available on the Outer Rim planets such as Batu, Lamu, Lothal, which I did not know. There's a lot of history behind Lothal. Obviously, it's in Star Wars Rebels and in the Ahsoka show. And Tatooine. Sid Parlor on Ord Mantel served a similar beverage that was alcoholic called Dark Blue Milk. There's some cool inside that I didn't know. So if you guys want to check the rest of that article out, it will be linked in the description box below. All right, Star Wars True Moo Blue Milk, inspired by the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. So. Let me know if you guys are going to go out and try and pick some of this up. It is for a limited time only. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Honestly, not bad. I think eggnog's a little bit too like strong for me. It doesn't taste anything really like eggnog, but it just tastes like a, a slightly sweet milk, like slightly vanilla sweet milk. Pretty cool. All right. Very delicious. Okay, that's going to do it for the video. <clears throat> May the force be with you. I'll see you soon.